Hi there, it's Cheryl Lee from Anatomy for the People. In this video, I will be going through menstruation or your period. So if you're joining me today because it's the first time you've got your period, or you're just looking to learn a little bit more about the human body, welcome. First, let's start with what a period is. So generally, it is a sign that the female body is now capable of creating new life. But more specifically, it's the monthly shedding of your uterus lining that is pushed out of your private parts in the form of blood, tissue, and fluid. And my goodness, when you say it out loud, it sounds extremely terrifying. But if we break it down, we realize it's really not that scary and it's definitely not gross. It's actually quite amazing. And you know, vital for the survival of the human race. You know, no biggie. Okay. So before we start talking anatomy, you need to understand what a hormone is because the whole menstrual cycle and menstruation is reliant on different levels of hormones and fluctuations of hormones. So a hormone is a chemical messenger that can be produced by lots of different organs in your body and they're released into the bloodstream. Once they enter into the bloodstream, they will go to their target organs and they affect nearly everything that happens in your body. So sleep, growth, emotion, and lots, lots more. Okay, let's start talking about periods. So our journey actually starts in the brain. So somewhere between the ages of nine and 16, a switch will go off in a small little area in your brain called the hypothalamus, which is just here. It's called the hypothalamus. Hypo means below. It's actually below a structure called the thalamus. This is the hypothalamus. So there are nerve cells within this area that start to produce a hormone. And it's a long one. It's called gonadotropin releasing hormone, or GNRH for short. Let's just refer to it as the G hormone. So this hormone is pushed into the bloodstream where it makes a very short journey to another area in the brain called the pituitary gland. And that is right here. The pituitary gland. It is a pea-sized gland that has hormone-making cells within it. And it starts to create two hormones based on the presence of gonadotropin-releasing hormone. So it makes something called follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. These hormones then make their way to the ovaries. So now let me introduce you to the ovaries. These are small paired glands that produce sex hormones. And these sex hormones you may already be familiar with are estrogen, estrogen, and progesterone. And the ovaries will make these hormones in response to circulating levels of follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Not only do the ovaries produce these sex hormones, they also produce something really important, your eggs. But let's come back to that later. So these hormones, estrogen and progesterone, will fluctuate over the month, which leads to things like water retention, uh, salt and food cravings, acne, feelings of sadness, feelings of being fancy. But more importantly, it is the fluctuations of these hormones that leads to an egg being shot out of the ovary to start its journey. So once it comes out of the ovary, it's going to make its way through the uterine tube on its way down to the uterus. So you may be yelling at your screen, where is the blood? What on earth does this have to do with the blood? Well, you see, over the month, the presence of these two hormones, estrogen and progesterone, has made the inner lining of the uterus, which is the endometrium, thicken up. And it does that to create the perfect environment for a fertilized egg to be nourished and eventually become a full-grown baby. So when the egg enters the uterus and hasn't been fertilized by a sperm cell, there's no need for this thick lining anymore. So it starts to break down and it starts to degrade. This is when you start to get cramps because the uterus 
is literally squeezing to force out this lining. It is going to move through your vagina and this is where you get all that blood and tissue. And this usually lasts for about three to seven days. And this is your period. So getting your period is totally normal. It's not weird or anything to be ashamed about. Every female experiences it. And it is a monthly reminder that the human body is amazing. And as a female, you have the ability to grow and nourish a brand new human being. So cool. I hope you've learned something today. Bye.